Uh, to get started here, what we're going to do uh, for the first part of the session is we're going to go over the cash flow uh, bill validator that uh, MEI is putting out right now. Uh, Advanced Electronics does sales and service for them. Uh, what we're going to go through is the maintenance and troubleshooting level one. There's not a lot of troubleshooting going on with this at this point. It's a very new product that's come out and we're still waiting on some input from the customers as to, as to what issues they are having. So as those come in, we, get, we gain more literature on it, and then we can come out and we can give you guys a more detailed description of the troubleshooting on this. Uh, this actual presentation here, this PowerPoint presentation, was prepared by the Paul Hall Center for Maritime Education at Penny Point, Maryland. I have to say that for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, once again, I'm Dave Oldham. I'll be your instructor. I am uh, a service technician for AESI. I, I'm also the technical instructor. Um, and we'll be going through this. And then also we'll be jumping into a program that we have with this called an STS program, which is a really neat little program as far as uh, doing some basic troubleshooting and being able to download and being able to program your programmers to do your download on the floor. Um, okay, now we're supposed to talk about administrative stuff, your fire exits. Obviously, you know where your doors are. What the heck? I don't know where the restrooms are, so if you could tell me, I would really appreciate it. And, <laughs> and we'll have a break when I'm done. Um, my name's Dave Olam. I've been with Advanced Electronics for about a year and a half now. I started out as the printer uh, repair technician and uh, have scaled it off a little bit on the printer side and actually started picking up more of the products such as the, the bill validators for MEI, especially the cash flow system. Uh, now Mars creates the cash flow. Uh, I, for those of you who don't know, Mars is actually the candy company. Uh, they started out making candy and they realized that, hey, to sell the candy you got to put it in a vending machine. Well, what's another way to get a little bit more money out of the customer than to make your own bill validator to take the bills that take their candy? And uh, Advanced Electronic Systems is a company that's been in business for about three years now. Uh, we have a partnership with uh, Mars Electronics as far as sales and service on their bill validators. So when you guys have problems, you send your validators to us. We do the repairs and we send it back to you. If you have any problems, you will be calling us. And I gave out my uh, business card out in the back. It's got our company phone number on it. We really want you guys to call us and give us input on what's going on as far as if you're having any problems and if there's good things. If you guys really like it, we'd really like to hear that also. Now, <laughs> you know, yeah, very little sound effect, the cha-ching there. Uh, the highlights on this, we, the Mars cash flow has the ultimate in acceptance rates. Uh, the way that we can do that is with the setup that we have as far as the LEDs that go across, and we're going to go into this a little bit uh, down the line here, but we're able to read virtually the whole bill as it goes through. We don't, we're not picking certain sections, like if any of you that have our Mars ZT series on your floor, you'll notice that there's only four LEDs that are in here that actually read anything. Well, with the cash flow, we actually have eight LEDs that go across, and we read the whole bill, which also brings us right into the security issue. I have yet to hear of a counterfeit bill making it through a cash flow head. Have you guys seen it? That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Durability. These are very, very durable. It's all made of plastic, high strength plastic. You can take these things, you can throw them up and down. One of the big things that we do in the sales presentation is with the cash can especially. Stop, 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 stop. Wait just one moment. Okay. No, no, <laughs> no. Now you're gonna follow this as it goes up in the okay. air and hits the floor, right? Okay. The nice thing about this cash can is what they call, it's uh, uh, drop crew resistant. You can take this thing and you can drop it on the floor. You can throw it up against the wall and it's not gonna get tweaked out of shape. Now, for those of you that are running the JCMs and even the uh, ZT series with the metal cash can, you guys know 
that thing gets dropped, that thing gets tweaked, you might as well throw the thing in the garbage. It's, it's tough to get it back into place. With this nice, durable plastic, you can drop it, you can throw it, you can do whatever the hell you want to it, like, this, like in the Samsonite commercial with the gorilla. He can jump on it, it's not going to break it. Okay. And speed. Speed is a big thing with this. We're going through, what we've got is we've got a 100 DPS processor that's in this thing, uh, which makes it very quick as far as reading the bill, ver validating it, and stacking it and giving the customer their credits. We do it very quickly. We're going to go into that a little bit more as we get into the uh, procedure here. Now, model numbers. We have three different models on this. Uh, the SC66 Secure Cash Box. The 66 actually stands for 66 millimeters, which is the bill width, which is standard for American currency. Now, Mars also has an SC83. 83 millimeter for other jurisdictions, other countries, really, uh, that use different size bills for their denomination so that we can read all of that stuff. Now, as we're reading into it, uh, you'll see the SC6602. That is OEM proprietary. And that one right there, the 6602, the 02 is going to tell you that that is a setup for an IGT machine. Okay? Uh, if you have a 6604, that is a setup for a ballet game. And a 6607 would be your other manufacturers, Williams, uh, Aristocrat, anybody else that is capable of taking the cash flow uh, bill validator in their game. Uh, now, actually, you know what? Give me one second. Let me, let me grab a manual. <laughs> yeah, intermission. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Quick and painless. Okay, so actually what we want to do in the manual is we want to look on the first page, or actually what they're calling page three. And this gives us a breakdown of the model number and the serial number. And in the serial number, you'll be able to determine whether or not the unit is in warranty or not. Now. Of course, everything now and for the next couple of years is going to be in warranty because Mars gives a two-year, sometimes a three-year, and depending on the, uh, the program that you pick, we have a preferred customer program that we also have with Advanced Electro Electronics, which will actually extend the warranty even farther. But getting back to the model number, the SC66 tells you it's a 66 millimeter bill path. And, uh, now you have two digits after that, and that tells you whether or not it's IGT, Bally, or just a straight RS-232. And the last digit after that, if there's no digit at the end, that tells you that it is a flash unit. And if there is a P at the end of it, it tells you that it's a prom unit. Now, one thing about the cash flow setup, and we're going to touch base on this a little bit down the line also. but. If you're in a jurisdiction where you must use a prom, such as New Jersey, they have to have prom chips in every bill validator. Once you put a prom chip into this head, you have made it a prom head. You can't change it back. You can send it to me, and I can change it back, but you guys will not have the capability to do that. Okay, now what I want to talk about is the serial number. Thank you, thank you. And the serial number, very simple to read. The, really, all you're looking at is the first three digits that are on there. The first two digits are going to tell you the week of manufacture. So it's going to be anywhere from 1 to 52. I believe there's 52 weeks. <laughs> 0 to 52. Um, the third digit is going to be the year of manufacture, just the last digit in the year. Now, once again, I said that these are going to be still under warranty for you guys. So if you have problems with them within the next couple of years, all you're going to do is you're going to take it out, you're going to send it to us, we're going to fix it, we're going to send it back to you. Now, our company also does offer a direct exchange program. If, if you are one of our preferred customers and, you're, and you buy in on this program, 
we can actually give you new units to put in in place of the ones that you're sending in to be repaired. Now, with this, like I said, they're actually giving you a little bit longer warranty than a three-year. Three-year would be 36 months. MEI is actually giving you a 39-month warranty on this from the date of manufacture. The improvements that we've, that we've made, well, I should say that MEI has made on customer feedback, uh, things that you guys didn't like about the ZT series and things that you thought would make your lives a hell of a lot easier, they started to implement here. First thing they did was implement a dispute resolution window located on the cash box, right in the front. 